Hello everyone and welcome to the webinar. We're excited you've joined us for today's session on 25 ideas for Facebook in 25 minutes. A few housekeeping details before we get started. This session is being recorded and you should receive a link to the recording tomorrow by email. Please feel free to share this webinar content with colleagues that could not attend today. A question and answer session will immediately follow the presentation. If you have a question for us, please type it into the questions box in the GoToWebinar panel on the right side of your screen. My name is Megan Nicholson and I am the Marketing Director here at Subtle Strauss. Hi folks, I'm Kendall Bessel and I'll be taking part in this today and I am a graphic designer and a marketing assistant at Subtle Strauss. This webinar is sponsored by Soul Strauss. With our connected mail service, you can tie your direct mail campaigns to Facebook and Instagram advertising, along with informed delivery emails and Google advertising for a comprehensive multi-channel campaign. You may have seen this ad following you around on Facebook, Instagram, and Google after visiting our page. If you're interested in this service, you can reach out to your Soul Strauss sales rep for more in information. A few caveats before we get started. Uh, before uh, you see all our ideas, you want to be sure to consider your audience. We determined our customer base was better served on LinkedIn since we were a business to business operation, not selling to consumers directly. Our Facebook page we discovered was mostly our employees and their family and friends. So a lot of our content is geared around our company culture and recruitment. Also consider your goals. Whether it's likes, or reactions, comments, or total reach, what are you trying to achieve? Then optimize your post around that goal. So what we consider best performing may not be the kind of goal that you're looking for. Just So just take that in mind. Idea number one. When you have nothing else to talk about, you can always talk about the weather. Some of our best performing posts have been our snowman decorating in the winter and flowers outside our building for the spring. If you're a local business, the weather is timely and relevant to your audience, so use it. This slide shows three different types of content as well, as the snowman was a video slideshow of images, the spring post, a collage of photo, and an animated illustration was used for the cloudy day post. Number two, sneak peek of project in process. If you can show your audience a behind the scenes look into your everyday life, it can generate curiosity and interest into your solution. We do this with video clips and pictures of our work in progress. The hardest thing to do for this is actually remembering to take photos or video of this while the work is happening. Although sometimes you can it. After a project is complete, share it on social again. We recommend always trying to include people in the photos, either your client, like we have on the left with the Diocese of Trenton and their Giving Tuesday mailer, or your employee, like on the right with Amy Olson at Evansville High School showing a display she helped to, to design. If you don't produce physical things, you can always show a team celebrating the completion of their work. Number four, introduce the team. Introduce your employees individually. In the past, we've done employees do like a, a Mad Lib style form to create a goofy profile about themselves. And this past year, we've tried a video format of two truths and a lie, where people had to guess the lie. And people shared their Mad Libs on their pages and their videos and that also ended up extending our reach. So on the left, we have an example of Courtney's Mad Lib. And then on the right, we have an example of our CEO, Ted Strauss, who was involved in the two truths and a lie. Idea number five is to celebrate your employees' anniversaries. The average tenure of our employees at Phil Strauss is 12 years, and we wanted to highlight that. So we started celebrating milestone anniversaries every five years. 
we send out a questionnaire to the person celebrating an anniversary, asking them for some fun facts about themselves, what their favorite thing is about working for Subtle Strauss, and some words of wisdom. It's a way for us to say thank you and show our appreciation. We made a custom GIF for Facebook on the left, so it's kind of animated. You can't see it here, but um, we've also just done static images of people at work for LinkedIn, if that's an easier lift for your team. Number six, show sales team expertise. In our sales team of seven, Karen Wedding is our most outgoing rep on social. We helped her start a video series where she shared ideas from projects she was working on in order to build her industry reputation. I'd look to your team and choose which person is most likely and willing to try this out. I know some people are not comfortable with this, but once others see their success, they're more than willing to try it out too. So now we have Alicia who does videos on promotional products and Rob, who does a video series called Mail Piece Minute. And I will say when you're starting out, these don't have to be fancy. Karen usually shoots them on her phone um, and she calls them 30 second innovations. So she tries to keep them as close to 30 seconds as possible. Rob's doing the Mail Piece Minute, so short, um, not professionally produced. Uh, just try one out. You can also put a face to your company by finding relatable human stories within your organization. They're there if you look. We have done video stories like Josh here on the left who got his high school diploma and college degree while working for our company. And on the right, a retirement video for Scott. We did a remember when, looking back at some of his best memories at work over his 40 plus year tenure. Number eight, holidays. Are there any holidays coming up? You could do posts around traditional holidays. For, for Christmas, we did guess the employee post with old family Christmas photos. You could also celebrate industry related holidays or just random holidays that you find where you can tie back to your company. For instance, on the left hand side, we did a national hot cocoa day for our promotional product service and a national high five day to just celebrate our team. Idea number nine is shout outs. Some of our best performing posts are when we tag other company pages on our Facebook page. So take the time to give shout outs to your customers, your partners, your suppliers, uh, associations you're members of, and conferences you attend. Those companies are more likely to react, comment, and potentially share, which can boost your reach. The example on the left, we tagged PlayCon with a giant check we made for them, which led to comments from their team. And on the right, at Dane County Humane Society, we created this 100-year signage, and employees took pictures with us and tagged it, which was pretty great, too. Number 10, customer testimonials. When you get a nice comment from a customer, make sure to feature it on your Facebook page. We've taken testimonials from Google and other review sites. It's always best you compare the testimonial with either a picture of the client or the project that they made. Um, if you want to get really fancy though, make sure to interv interview them on video. So we recommend adding captions to your videos because most people view with their sound off. Uh, you don't need expensive video equipment. For instance, this testimonial on the bottom with Kelly was taped over a Zoom call during the pandemic. You can also use Instagram's news story feature that automatically adds captions and then post out to Facebook. Some easy content for your Facebook page can come from highlighting events in your company that you may already be doing. For example, we have tours with clients and school groups, um, peer group meetings on location here, sharing our continuous improvement efforts and industry events at our plant throughout the year. Another good source of content can come from employee only internal events such as lunch and learns, cookouts, retirement parties, ice cream socials. This is also a great recruiting tool to show all the benefits of working at your company. One new employee said she had been following us on Facebook and we looked like such a fun place to work, it led her to apply. So that's always great to hear. Number 12, community service. 
If your company donates materials or money for charity or employees get time off for volunteering, make sure to share these activities on Facebook. And also be sure to tag the charity to your post so they'll most likely like, comment, and then possibly share it out as well. You, mo you may notice that many of these pictures in these examples feature our CEO, Ted Strauss, here shown with the giant heart. We found that posts that feature him get the highest engagement on our Facebook page, so we try to feature him as often as possible. Makes sense as he is the kind of face of our company. Some charities just appreciate getting awareness on social media. So our employees have been known to participate in days like Go Orange for Hunger for the Second Harvest Food Bank or Go Red for the American Heart Association in February. You can choose which types of events to encourage your employees to participate in. Pink for breast cancer awareness or purple for pancreatic cancer awareness, etc. Before COVID, we would do group photos like shown in the bottom right. Um, last year, we had people take their own photos and send them in, and we created a video slideshow of them all together. Or, like on the left, we got everyone together on a video call in their red, and we took a screenshot. Number 14, show history. Look back and see if your company has any old photos, like the original office, a company founder, or even old equipment. And show where you started from and how far you've actually come. For employees who've been here a long time, we've done a guest of year or then versus now post. And these work great for just throwback Thursdays or way back Wednesdays. So right now we're actually trying to collect some images of employees senior photos so that we can do a throwback graduation post in June. To generate comments and engagement, if that's your goal, ask your audience a question. We use candy from two marketing projects to ask if people like chocolate or Pop Rocks better. Um, two pies from a recent potluck to say, do you like apple or pumpkin? Uh, two contest pieces, we designed uh, the pumpkin and the red, white, and blue stars to say, which is your favorite holiday, Halloween or 4th of July? And we had a poll about cats versus dogs, which led into a post the following week for a contest. Which leads me right into our next idea, number 16, is to host a contest. Our cat versus dog poll turned into the giveaway in the right corner where we made custom leash and treat holders for our furry friends. Our monthly contest strategy was to boost our number of page followers. We created prizes from leftover materials and obsolete inventory and asked people to like, comment, share, or tag a friend to win. Uh, it was pretty great uh, systematically increasing our followers when we hosted one of these each month. So take a few minutes and think, is there something that you could give away? Maybe some branded swag or apparel or uh, something free of value? Number 17, share recipes. We had the idea to create a subtle Strauss employee recipe book and then when coronavirus hit, Everyone just started baking and cooking, so we thought it would be a great idea to share some of our employee recipes. These actually performed really well for us in comparison to the other posts, uh, but the hardest part was getting our employees to actually send us a picture of their creation. But these were just kind of a fun filler post to, to have on our social page. Yeah, during the coronavirus when we didn't have a lot of events going on, I mean, all the potlucks had been shut down and so we couldn't do any of that fun stuff. This was a great way to kind of fill in those empty spots. Be sure to integrate a little humor into your Facebook page. We've used Monday Pun Day or Friday Fun Day or International Joke Day as opportunities to be funny. So idea number 18 is make a joke. We've shared some printing jokes from our production staff or a delivery employee, a video of him zooming into the weekend. It makes for some fun and light content. Um, then we made a social distancing joke since our CEO is about six feet tall. We said employees had to stay one Ted Strauss apart. Number 19, TikTok trend. You can look to TikTok for some video ideas. There's always some kind of challenge happening. 
As long as it's safe and it's relevant, feel free to adapt it to your own business. So two examples we did are on the left, we did a virtual catch for our direct mail, where we had our team kind of send an envelope to each other during different clicks. And then on the right, we had a snap video where we would have promotional products that were not yet branded and you would snap and then it would switch it over to a branded piece. Yeah, so we currently don't have an account on TikTok, um, but we are using it for ideas. So if we see a video kind of trending, it we see it kind of spread from TikTok into Instagram, Facebook, and other places. So it's a great place for ideas. Idea number 20 is news and events. If you have new blog posts, news articles, Facebook is just another distribution point. Be sure to tag the publication, the author, and any employees mentioned. Same goes for upcoming events, whether they're in person or virtual. We don't do a lot of this on Facebook because we found it didn't perform very well. Um, we do more of this on LinkedIn since that is where our business audience is, but it might be right for you if your audience is on Facebook. That would appreciate this. Number 21, promote other channels. If your audience is larger on Facebook than it is on other channels, use Facebook to push people to those other channels. So here are two Facebook posts that we use to promote our Instagram and Pinterest account. The left is the Instagram and the right is Pinterest. Both examples are just screen recording scrolling through our page, but it's just to give followers content and ideas. Idea number 22 is job postings. If you have an open position, post the job on Facebook. We found the actual Facebook jobs functionality to be a bit glitchy, but you could always just do a regular post with videos or images with a link to the open positions on your website. We like to feature photos and videos of our employees smiling, so this has been difficult in the past year with masks, but we're still testing what will perform the best for recruiting and have some new ideas to test this year. Number 23, highlight mission and values. Almost every company has a mission statement with a number of core values. We started off the year with six different posts going through each of our values one by one with a video or image of how we deliver on each one. So we show team members that help posts perform well. Idea number 24 is to celebrate sports teams. If you have a casual Friday, you can send a team e email to have everyone wear their favorite team color for the weekend game and then take a picture. The post on the left said a Browns fan would not be unwelcome, but he would be outnumbered at Sutter Strauss. And then the image on the right was for the first uh, college game day weekend in the fall. It's easier to get your employees to engage by using what they enjoy in their personal lives outside of work. These are always fun. Number 25, brain teasers. You may have seen a brain teaser or a puzzle on Facebook. You can take these and make these your own like we did with paper, printers, and hearts, or our brand colors. We've also done a find the differences uh, every Christmas where our graphic designers have used Photoshop to hide five different changes in the Christmas sweater photo. Yeah, the math ones always get a lot of comments with people trying to prove they can solve how smart they are. So that was a fun one to do too. And then this was the topic of 25 ideas, but we had another one. So we're calling this the bonus idea number 26 of freebies. What can you give away for free? During the pandemic, we saw many brands offering free printable coloring sheets for the kids who are stuck at home or craft projects they could do. Perhaps there's something you can give away for free that relates to your business as a digital download from your Facebook page. That's our ideas, and now we're gonna open it up for questions. If you have a question for us, please type it into the questions box in your go-to webinar panel on the right side of your screen. A uh, reminder, this is being recorded, and we're gonna send a copy of the recording and the slides tomorrow by email. And our first 
question comes from Darren and he asks for customer reviews. Do you need permission by the customer to use it if you take them off of Yelp, Google, et cetera? And I will say that we don't ask for additional approval if it's on a public website like that. Um, we feel like they've put it out there for public consumption and so we're just reposting um, what they said. Now, if somebody sends us a comment by email, or they're talking to a salesperson on the phone, we'll definitely go back and be like, oh, we would love to share this. Can we make this official testimonial? And then maybe we'll ask them for a picture of their project that we can pair with it. All right, our next question is, do you think you should ask the audience to like, share, and comment all the above to enter a contest, or is that too much? Um, we've done some testing on this where we've like asked people to like, we've asked them to comment, we've asked them to tag, and what we found is if we make the call to action too hard, people will not participate. Um, so if we ask them to post a picture in the comments, that's you know a lot harder than just tagging a friend or um, tell us what your hometown is. So if you can make the bar low and easy, you'll get a lot more comments and engagement would be my recommendation. Michelle asks, these are all great ideas, but I'm wondering what the goals are for your social. Is it just to create engagement or do you have any examples where this has led to a lead or a sale? That is a great question, Michelle. Yeah, as I said, our LinkedIn is definitely more for our business leads and sales. For Facebook, we're definitely trying to um, recruit people. And so that example I shared of somebody who thought we were a great place to work and came from Facebook would be an example of the results we're seeking. We always, we also want to keep our employees engaged um, and it's part of our company culture. So Facebook is, is more in that area than the leads and sales. But I do keep track in HubSpot. It shows us how much traffic we're getting from social media um, as far as our Google Analytics. And social is a very high traffic generator from LinkedIn, Facebook, um, Pinterest, and Instagram is climbing up there. So it's definitely delivering website traffic as well. Yeah, and Heather's next question is, you have a highly visual medium. What do you do for posts that don't have an easy visual? And that is something where we've struggled too, is uh, just creating your own visuals, I guess. So when we don't have something, uh, we can create a, an animated GIF or a infographic-like design. It's great to have a good uh, graphic design team who can kind of come up with the visuals when we don't have a photograph or a video of something. So I definitely rely on a, on a good graphic designer to help you with that. Brian asks, what if you sell products nationally and it's difficult to get photos of finished projects for social use? Yeah, we've done that too. We're, uh, uh, we ask the customer to send us a photo of it installed. Of course, then you have to rely on someone else and they don't always follow through. Or if you can take a photo before you ship it out the door, um, or like idea number two, where you're taking it in progress, what you're working on, or even showing pictures of a, a concept or the team kind of brainstorming at the beginning of a project. I just say take as many photos as possible at any time. <laughs> And Heather asks, any tips for an environment where employees aren't too keen about being on camera? Heather, we definitely run into this situation. <laughs> uh, Kendall's gotten some frowns going around with her camera and people that prefer not to be shown on social. So definitely for the anniversaries posts, um, when we have them fill out the little form, we ask if they want their picture online and sometimes they say no and we're completely fine with that. Um, people are feel free to turn us down whenever. Uh, we kind of have gotten to know who in the company is okay with being on social and who's not. So we kind of 
have those people that we can go back to. Um, but you just kind of have to feel everybody out. And like I said, if we can do um, things that they're passionate about outside their work, like their sports teams, we'll have more people participate in those posts than um, say something that just relates to our company. So find something that sparks their imagination. And uh, our last question is, where do you get your ideas for new content? Um, so our team here, we have a monthly social media planning meeting where we talk about upcoming events in the company for the next month. We do a Google search to see if there's any funny holidays coming up, like Talk Like a Pirate Day or uh, not National Hot Cocoa Day, any holidays that we can relate back to our company. We get ideas from our own personal social feeds. Uh, across our team we're all following different companies and different brands and different influencers we also have some peer groups we belong to where we share ideas between ourselves and yeah just seeing what's out there in the news in popular culture what can we relate back to us so that's all the questions we had for today i promised you guys 25 minutes so i'll get you back to your day if you have more questions you want to ask, you can email them to me at marketing at com. Otherwise, watch your email tomorrow for a link to the recorded presentation and slides. Thanks, everyone, and have a great rest of your day. Yes, thank you.